What's up, guys? Mike here, head trader at True Trading Group. On October 28th, I'm starting the week red. Was disappointed with myself today. Um, I allowed myself to get completely caught up in small caps when I just had such a feeling that the action wasn't going to be in small caps today. We were gapping up to all-time highs. We had a lot of large caps that made tremendous moves today. Spotify, Roku, monster moves today. Spy, all-time highs. Tesla had a big opening bell push. Beyond Meat had a, a bounce back day today, although now after hours reporting earnings, trading lower. There was such good action in large caps today. And, you know, even if even if you have a small account, you don't, you know, want you're not comfortable trading large caps. I mean, you could trade the options on these things. Um and get such tremendous action. The small caps were very, very choppy today. I had such a feeling that, like I was really disappointed in myself today because I had such a feeling that small caps were going to be choppy today because I thought traders' attention, I thought follow-through and momentum was going to be in some larger names because the all-time highs and there really wasn't like any negative news out today regarding it was positive talks on China and U.S. trade. Um, you know, there's everyone's getting excited for another rate cut is expected. Um, earnings have been better than were expected. So it's like all the news today, pre-market was good news. And I was, I, you know, I, I said to myself pre-market to really not focus on small caps, but I did it anyway. And that's why I was so frustrated with myself today. And after those, my, my first two trades were small caps. I took a loss. I just shut it down because I was so upset with myself and I was like angry with myself. I was like, why did you do that? You literally told yourself pre-market that follow through momentum was going to be elsewhere and you got sucked into small caps anyway. So I was pissed off. I really was. I was frustrated. So I just shut it down, guys. I just um, took my loss for the day. October has been a huge month. You know, we've had a really good October. We had some home run trades. We had the JNUG swing. We had the Beyond Meat puts. I mean, we had Roku short. I mean, we we nailed some huge trades. And then we had all oh, and then we had SES, DTSS. Um, what was the other one? Bimmy. I mean, we, we had some huge trades this this month. So, I mean, if you guys follow the channel, you know that this has been a really good month. Um, and I'm looking to close the month strong. But today, today I took a, a little bit of a hit over two and then I just shut it down. Still managed my risk, still stuck to my stop losses. I didn't get crushed on the trades that I lost on. But nonetheless, over two and it's, a, you know, a red day. All right. So, um, I guess good risk management today, but poor decision making when I told myself to, to not focus on small caps today, focus elsewhere, and I did it anyway. So I didn't listen to myself. I paid the price. So let's get to those um, those trades today, guys. Xnet was the first one. Xnet was actually a really good setup. I don't mind um, getting sucked into Xnet as much. I just wish I didn't pay too. I didn't like worry too much about it, and I and I allowed myself to just kind of look at some other things because I loved the setup. It was actually a really good setup on Xnet. I mean, this is why I got sucked into it because it was a, a really gr a grade A setup. And it's a setup that I would trade again um, if I see it tomorrow because we had the gap up. We put in the initial morning high. Then we break through the initial morning high with some good consistent volume. And then the first thing I do, we draw a line across that initial morning high. There it is. We broke through it, consistent volume. We push. Then let's draw out our Fibonacci retracement level. Okay, when we draw out our Fibonacci retracement level, what do we notice? It lines up dead even with the initial morning high. Then what else do we notice? The trade line is crossing over V. The trade line and VWAP are lining up at that level, and we're getting a trade line VWAP crossover at that level. It's a great setup. It's a great setup. So I mean, that's why I went in and I bought it. Right here, guys, I got long at $6.30. Taking my trade announcements here, you guys can see I'm long X and at 6.30, stop loss at $6 level. Okay. Um, and it looked like we were going to give give us a crossover, and then I was expecting to see Xnet do this, break through highs and break above seven, and I'd be taking profits, and it would have been a good trade. But we got denied up at the highs, rolled back down, tested that support, and then finally rolled over and broke it. And right there... I got flat at $5.96. So, you know, sticking to my stop loss, okay, in at 6.30, out at 5.96. Um, so I took a loss on this very first trade of the day, but it was a really good setup, okay? So this is a setup that I would trade again. Um, I don't think that I 
I don't think my problem today was that I traded bad setups. My problem today was more of an overall sentiment thing saying to myself, hey, focus on larger cap names. I think that there's going to be better action there and not sticking to that. And I actually allowed myself to, to get sucked into small caps. Even though they were good setups, there's not follow through in small caps today. Um, and I felt that coming into the day, but I didn't listen to my own analysis. And I ended up trading what ended up being very choppy action. You guys can see XNet, um, you know, for the whole rest of the day, just kind of bounced around up and down, up and down without any real clear direction. Uh, an example of a stock that if you were short, you could have lost money. And if you were long, you could have lost money. Um, and that's kind of what we saw today in small caps in general. ISEE was even worse. I mean, you take a look at this chart of ISEE. I mean, you can be you can get burned on this long and short all day long. And that's how choppy this action was. This is the one I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm more frustrated with. After I saw that XNet wasn't working out. I should not have gone after ISEE. This is really where I made the mistake and I should have shifted my focus over to some larger cap names. I should have shifted over to Spotify. I should have shifted over to Roku, Tesla. I mean, you had Microsoft at all time highs. You had a lot of larger names um, that were, were giving you some pretty good moves. And this is the, the trade I, I, that I feel like I should not have made. Um, it was an okay setup. Um, so here you guys can see we start to find support at the trade line. Okay, now at this point I'm already long XNet. We start to find some support at the trade line, then we pop above VWAP, and I'm saying to myself, if VWAP holds support, I might get long because if it holds support long enough for the trade line to catch up, we could get a trade line VWAP crossover, and then we can squeeze up towards new highs. So on that, on after we got through VWAP, you can see these two consecutive candles. We start to hold support at VWAP. So I jump in here and I get long at a dollar 85 stop loss 173. That happened to be right below the trade line. And we tried to go just like an XNet. We tried to go. You see this tail right here. XNet, same thing, had a tail. We tried to get up to our ties and got rejected. We just didn't have follow through today. And then rolled it back down, broke down below VWAP, and I exited my position right there at a dollar 72. All right. So, you know, stuck to my stop losses on these two trades, but. Um, IS, uh, XNet hurt me more than ISEE did, um, but still, I feel like ISEE, this is where I made my mistake today because instead of focusing on ISEE, I could have been better spent, my attention could have been better spent focusing on Spotify, focusing on Roku. I mean, there was just such better action, these large cap names, and I allowed myself to get caught up in some of the crap, so... That's it today, guys. 0 for 2, red day for me. We're coming back tomorrow, looking to get myself back on track. Tomorrow's Teach You Tuesday. The chat room is open free for everybody. If you guys want to come and chat and trade with me live, you see my screen, you hear me on the mic, you know exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it um, before I actually pull the trigger. I'll always tell you guys, okay, guys, I'm looking to get long in this area. If we get a pullback here, I'm jumping in long. I always let you guys know what I'm going to do before I do it instead of just surprising you with, hey, I'm in a trade. I always let you guys know ahead of time. So if you want to come and chat and trade with me, go to truetradinggroup.com, upper right-hand corner, click on Teach G Tuesday, fill out the form, register, and you'll get a link that will give you access to our chat room for free for the whole day tomorrow. All right, if you guys come and chat, send me a DM or a private message. Let me know you're from the YouTube community. I'd love to hear from you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you guys um, – Sign up for the notifications to make sure you don't miss any other videos that I put out on a daily basis filled with educational content. I'll see you guys in chat tomorrow. Take care.